Harry Potter by Balenciaga. Albus Dumbledore wearing a dark emerald green velvet robe with gold embroidery. Ron Weasley wearing a navy blue wool blazer with black velvet lapels. Model Hermione Granger wearing an ivory silk blouse, black midi skirt with high slit. Harry Potter wearing a black leather jacket with silver metallic accents. Hello, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this amazing Harry Potter video. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use ChatGPT and an AI tool called Bajon. So, I'm going to use this tool to create this amazing Harry Potter video. Now, the first thing we need to do is to tell, the thing we need to do is to tell ChatGPT to give us five most popular Harry Potter characters. We want just the name, so I'm just going to enter the name. So I asked ChatGPT to give me just five names of most popular Harry Potter characters. So you can see over here, ChatGPT will give me the names of five popular Harry Potter characters. So based on that, I will ask ChatGPT to now act as a Valencia fashion designer with 15 years experience. I want you to dress each of these five characters in a unique Valencia piece of runaway shoe. Just write the name of the character and the piece. And the piece, remember, is 1990 fashion show. So these are the prompt, these are the keywords I'm gonna to give to my chat GPT. And chat GPT is gonna be based on this. So it's gonna write all this for all my characters. So I have five characters, I have that for my five characters. I have first one, the second, and up to the fifth one. Now, based on this, I'm actually going to generate a prompt for that. And this prompt is what I'm going to use to generate my image. So, these are the prompts I'm going to use. Okay, so I say, okay, now this is a prompt that I use to generate image for from another AI image generator to call me Johnny. So, 1990 screen grab of female model. And then I'll go ahead and then I'm going to generate this particular prompt. So, ChatGPT will generate this prompt for me, these five prompts, which I'm going to use over here. So these are the prompts I use. But what I'm going to do is that when I get to Mejone, I'm going to use this prompt over here to generate my images. So I'm just going to copy this prompt direct from ChatGPT. So what I'm going to do is that I'll just copy every prompt one by one and then I go through the process. So the first thing I'm going to do is to copy the first prompt. I'm going to copy the first prompt over here. Once I copy this prompt and I get here, I'm actually when I come here to my Mejone, which you can use to generate your images, you can also use Blue Willow. That's the Blue Willow. You can also use that. So I'm going to use the Blue Willow. It works exactly as Mejone. So I'm just going to use the prompt and then paste my first keywords. The Mejone prompt I generated. I'm going to paste the first one here and then hit enter. And I'll wait for this to generate the first image for me. And I'll show you how to go about it. So, so as, so as so as you can see, I've generated my first Harry Potter image. So what I would need to do is to just upscale these images. So I just need to select the ones I want. So I have one, two, three, four. So I want the third one here. I can just click on the U3 here just to generate the first, the third one. I'm just going to click on this and just scroll down. And then I'm just going to download this image and I'll go and show you how to do this. So once you generate this image, you just have to download them. So I have downloaded these images already. So as you can see, I have these images already downloaded onto my computer. So you just have to use ChatGPT to generate your prompts or your keywords and then use Majority to generate your images. So once you're done generating your images, we want to use another tool as I have my images over here. I will use another tool to generate voiceover. So you can actually use 11 laughs.io to generate your voiceover. So once Albus Dumbledore wearing a dark you download your voiceover, we can now go ahead and animate our video using another platform called DID. So DID is going to help you to actually animate your video. So we, as you can see, if I click on this video, Albus Dumbledore wearing a Albus Dumbledore wearing so a dark emerald green velvet robe with gold embroidery. 
So it's gonna actually play this image, this video for me. And we need to, we need a break between our videos. So the second one is actually gonna be a point where the image will blink. So you can see it's just gonna blink the eye and then have the video play after that. Now to create your video, just click on create. The ID will give you 20 credit that you can use. So to create your videos, just click on that and then add your image. I'm just gonna click on the add icon and then use the any image that's what i want to use so let's see i want to use this image any of the image i generated using the journey now just click on that open this image within did and then you have to actually generate your voice over so when you done generate your voice over using 11labs.com you just have to click and then download it so you come over here you just have to go to upload audio and then select the audio you generated using did so once you have your audio just click and then select your audio any of your audio and click on open so just wait for your audio to just upload onto the id platform so just have to wait for your audio to upload onto the id platform and then now you can click on generate video then click on generate you can see i still have 10 more credits so you can get up to 20 credit to use so you just have to give yourself some time it's going to load over here so my video is being generated and see my video is being generated and then I can play this video. Ron Weasley wearing a navy blue wool blazer with black velvet lapels. Okay, so when you are done and you're okay with this video, you just have to click on the download icon and it's going to download this onto your computer and then we can combine all this video, short, short video into one full video. Now I have my main video and I want to introduce the break. In order to introduce the break, just go to create video again, upload the same image. We're going to upload the same image. But this time around, we are not going to upload any audio. We just going to under script. We just going to add some breaks over here, which is about 0 0.5 seconds. We just have to include about six of that to just introduce some breaks within that. Once you Add your stopwatches that's about six just click on generate that's the, all you need to do and then we actually going to go ahead and then generate this particular video as well this is just going to be a break where the character is just going to blink the eye so i'm just going to click on this and generate this this is also going to generate we've not added any voiceover when you click on this when it's So as you can see this is just going to blink the eye just like that and that's all so once we are done we can download this entire video and then combine it into a full video as you can see from the initial video that i showed you you can see everything showed over there like subscribe for more tips and tricks right here on this channel so like come away again bye bye